On the 1st of January 2022, Apostle John Inouye released detailed prophecies for the year 2022, the year of champions. Listen to what the Holy Spirit reveals. Now, this part of the service is where I tell us about the year 2022. This is what I call the state of the nation's address. 2022, the Lord said, is the year of champions. Number one, the Lord said 2022 is the year of many battles, but I've given you victory. Amen. It's the year of many battles. Number two, the Lord said 2022 is the year where the Illuminatis and the Freemasons cultism will rise. Cultism will rise and there will be the demand of blood like never before. Please, don't let your own blood flow. There will be the demand of blood like never before this year. They require this blood because this blood is what we supposedly give them the backing and the capacity, but most importantly, the potency to enact the new world order. Number three, the Lord said that this year, the Lord showed me a vision. I saw the, a dragon with three heads, and each head was a woman. I know the second head was a woman. The third head was a woman. And the Lord showed me that there is an agenda of hell for a woman to become the prime minister of the United Kingdom. If this woman attains power, we will be in trouble, especially the ethnic minorities. Boris Johnson will most likely lose his job this year. And it will be as a result of continuous pressure and supposed scandal. Boris Johnson has strayed away from the agenda that they wanted him to execute. Boris Johnson has seen the light and he doesn't want to be part of darkness anymore. So he has been frustrating and frustrating what they want to enact. This nation should have been on lockdown three months ago, but he has been delaying and delaying. I am telling you and I stand there backed by the Lord to tell you that Boris Johnson, if he has his way, he would have personally resigned months ago. But because of what is now privy to in terms of the knowledge of what he knows they are doing behind the scene, he is trying to delay and frustrate his people. But as I speak to you, there is a woman that has been prepared by hell to be the next prime minister of England. And this will also coincide with the leadership of the USA. A woman, there will, the woman there will still be the president. She was president for like maybe a day or two days or three days. What's her name again? Come, yes, she was, it was a test run. They wanted to see how people will react. Believe you me, child of God, she's still going to be president. She will still be there. Now, Bind him, I didn't call him binding. Bind him, we need to bind him. He's a puppet and his face was just used for, the, for a political agenda. The person running that country is Pelosi. Pelosi and Obama. They are the ones running the country and those in wicked lodges. Bind him is going to be kicked out soon and a woman will come back. But I see something strange happening. I see a Donald Trump blowing a trumpet again. But how it will happen, I don't know. But I saw him blowing a trumpet again. Now, in, you know I did say on, on the first day of the conference that there were three women. If these three women enter power in strategic places, we are in trouble. The third place is the Caribbean island. And this woman we have to be very careful of is the Prime Minister of Barbados. She will put someone in power next this month. Someone else will be in power. But she is in power. She is a woman, but a man in the spirit. She's going to be a godfather, even though she wears skirts. And I know she doesn't wear skirts, she wears trousers. So we need to really pray. If this woman in the UK becomes prime minister, that woman in America becomes a president, and this Caribbean woman if they lock horns 
child of God will be in trouble. Mark my word, a woman will almost become president in one of the most powerful West African country right in like this year. But because of the agenda, sorry, not this year, late this year and next year, but because of the agenda and cultural, culturalism, they will not allow her enter power. And the country I'm talking about is Nigeria. A woman will almost become president in Nigeria. But they will stop her because of the, 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 the macho men of the country. That woman would have been the third woman, but the Lord said, no, it won't happen. It's not going to shift to the Caribbean islands. As I speak to you, everybody in the Caribbean, they worship the prime minister of Barbados. Even the prime minister of St. Vincent. It's just where he's going to chop, he's looking for. Now, that's what, number what? Number what? Number four. The Lord said this year you must invest heavily in lands and agriculture. Invest heavily in lands and, and, and agriculture. But you might be saying, but man of God, I don't have money. I don't have the wealth. Where will I get money from? But you know what the Lord said? The Lord said, the first seven months, which brings me to number five, the first seven months of this year would be a, year, a, a, a months of great wealth. Increase. Watch, watch out. Many of you will get money coming from unusual places, unusual sources. The Lord said, please do not get carried away excitedly, but invest. Invest in land, invest in agriculture. Now, there is something called metaverse. Many of you must have heard of metaverse. How many of you have heard of metaverse? It's going rampage and everything will shift to metaverse. And that is what they are planning right now. Everything will shift to metaverse. We must be very, very careful so that we don't become victimized by it. Transactions will leave physical cash to invest in there. A lot of things will happen now there. When you do a deal with someone, they will tell you, pay me on metaverse. Please, Christians, metaverse is not for you. Because it looks good or sounds good doesn't mean it's for you. Please run away from it. Now, this is the most, one of the most deadliest things of this year. The Lord showed me in the realms of the Spirit, took me to a place. And I saw this big, it was like a big, a big warehouse with white roof. When I entered from the roof, I saw wires, electric wires with plugs that held what looked like human beings. How many of you have seen this movie called Matrix? Matrix. Yes. So you see Matrix. Matrix is like they had this plug that connected to some part of their body. What part of their body was it? The back. Now, I, I, that's how they were. This plug was holding these people. They were just like this. That's from the roof. You could see them. So the plug was holding them like that. And I said, Lord, and they were in their hundreds of thousands. And I said, Lord, what is this? You know what the Lord said? The Lord said, we are entering now the dispensation where the invention of human-like creations, the inventions of human-like creations, we blossom like never before. And watch out. It says, robotic engineering is about to take over. You will see a human being, but it's a robot. Everything about us, our genetics are being taken and they are forming these human beings, these robots. Robotics will take over now and it's coming out to the forefront. We must pray that that project fail because many of you will be out of jobs. The only, reason, the only time you'll be able to get a job during this dispensation is by you taking some marks. And that's why they started with, started with the jobs the boosters, and what is coming now is the chip. What is coming now with the chip? The chip is what will control your finances. The chip is what will control your affairs. The chip is what you use to get medical checkup. And all this will be controlled by this 5G network. They did not finish their job the first lockdown. They almost completed the second lockdown they need the third lockdown the third lockdown is going to happen it will happen but we must pray 
Now, the Lord said that governments will press further into confusion and misguided judgmental calls. No government will be fit again to give us wise counsel. All the, all the judgmental calls government will make now will all be wrong and problematic. So we must pray. Pray for your leaders. Pray for those in power. When it's time to vote, vote who God says, not the party you, you like. Please, this year, pray for your pastors. Especially those who are vocal against darkness, those who speak against wickedness, please pray for us and intercede. Pray for me. Oh. Yes, I have a super you, a, 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 a superman behind me called Jesus. But you must pray for me. The Lord said, concerning this year, we must invest in our gifts. Hear me. Why? This brings me to the next point. It said, it's a year of wealth creation. I did say earlier that the next seven months of 2022 will be wealth creation. Don't just start buying vanity things. Invest in gifts. Because after the first seven months, lack will start. Lack. There will be lack. Hear me. People will struggle at the latter part of this year. Please hear me clearly. So that you don't be part of the number of people suffering. The Lord said, 2022, the latter part of it, people will struggle. So do not waste the early blessings. It's like the days in Egypt when there was plenty grain for seven years. And after that, there was another seven years of what? Famine. It is, Egypt became the, the, the capital of the world economically because they saved in the days of what? plenty i beseech you all that in the name of jesus don't spend like a desically or lav lavishously on things that will not bring you return or old value there will be a lot of deaths of pastors this year but not me there will be a lot of deaths of bishops it will just be oh he went Oh, she went. Oh, he went. Oh, she went. And the Lord also showed me in the political field, you just hear one senator, he went. One prime minister, he went. One president, he went. Please, I pray that you pray for me. Am I communicating? I'm not going anywhere. My beard is still black. It's not yet white. I know I have three, three white beards already. Three white sticks. It's got to be fully white. Amen. But please pray. I saw pastors going this year just like that. And also leaders just going this year. Now, the next one I want to tell you all. Please, where are all the ladies? Ladies say, hey. Ladies say, hey. Please, keep your things well. Your panties your bras sensitive stuff when you when you go through i'm speaking black and white when you go through your menstrual circle everything you're disposing wrap it chuck it away dispose them discreetly i saw the devil on an assignment using women's glory this year and putting many women in bondage and witchcraft manipulation Many women will become imprisoned by witchcraft manipulation. But hear me, every woman connected to this altar, whoever tried to tamper with your destiny, whoever tried to tamper with your virtue, you have a daughter, you have a sister, you have an auntie, you have a mother, a grandmother, I prophesy anybody that tried to tamper with your virtue, I prophesy, fire of God shall respond for you. Fire of God shall respond for you. Fire of God shall respond for you. In the name of Jesus. Please keep your things well. Keep your things well. Keep your things. If you notice your, something about you, your panties, your brow, something personal is missing, quickly shout, man or pastor. I can't find it. Oh. 
we enter prayers. You start praying, whoever to father, scatter them. Scatter what? Scatter what? Now, another point. The Lord said this year, you will see the increase of a great falling away of believers. Many will backslide this year. But he said, when one backslide, he said, two will come to Christ. So meaning, there looks like there, looks like there is a change of God in the church. Those that think that they are saved. Perhaps they stick, if you think you stand, take it, lest you would fall. So I saw change of God. I saw those who backslided coming back to God. I saw those who don't even know Jesus coming to Christ. And I see those who have been in God for a long time. They think they are standing. <laughs> Disappeared. And you know the funny thing? God did not miss them. God did not chase them. Why? There is a move of heaven now, a surge of kingdom advancement to quickly win souls because the devil is also on this, on this surge with speed to destroy lives. Because the devil knows that Jesus is coming and his return is imminent. So please, everyone under the sound of my voice, hold on to the Lord this year. Embrace him tight. Keep him close. Be prayerful. Be prayerful. Keep only friends that will encourage you in God. Keep partners that are prayer partners or praise partners. Not gossip partners. Not those. Listen, if you, if, if, if you leave Jesus, what next? You leave Jesus, what next? It's not that year. Now, the next point that the Lord told me, the Lord said, we must be at alert this year. The enemy will be out. I'm not glorifying the enemy here, but I'm just letting us know. The Bible says, do not be ignorant of the devices of. The Lord said, be at alert. It's a year of battles. A year of battles. Have the old armor of God on. Put on the shield of faith this year. Because the Lord said, it's the year of the 300. So when mama, that's why my mom was saying, Ahu. I was shocked. I can show you my book there. It's the year of the 300. I don't know how she got, you know. It's, it's not the movie they said, Ahu. 300, Ahu. So when she's not saying, Ahu, I don't know how she got. That's why I was just laughing. I said, this woman has, this Holy Spirit have finished me here. It's the year of the 300. Not 300 as a movie, but 300 as in the days of Gideon. How many of you know the story? 32,000 men were gathered. God said, I've not chosen them. Take them to the stream. Let them drink. And God picked 300 to fight a battle of thousands. Meaning, this is the year where God will use one man to do what 10 men meant to do. So we have to really pray. The Lord, like the song says, Oh, when the saints were marching in, Oh, when the saints were marching, Lord, I want to be in the number when the saints were marching. Lord, I want to be part of the 300. Meaning, the Lord said, you will be tested. The test will come and please don't miss your own test. Don't, it's a year where you can be husband and wife and God pick your wife as a 300 and as your husband you are nothing. God pick your husband as part of the 300 and as a wife you are nothing. But wouldn't it be wonderful where husband and wife you are the 300. And this brings me to the next point. How many of you have your wedding invitations? Leave them up. Quickly. It's a year of many weddings. I, I thought singles, I thought you would shout amen. Bring your wedding invitations quickly. I told you people, I said, well, if you want to get married this year, I said, just carry a, a, a paper. Cut it like, you write it, my wedding invitation, and bring it by faith. Oh yeah. Put them, put them, put 
put them on the altar. Oh yeah, ask, tell, the, tell the Lord you did this, you want to marry. Tell him, tell the Lord. You have written it there. You've written it. Time, date, everything. If you're a man you want to marry this year, right? Yeah. And that's it. Wedding invitations. Yeah. You wrote for your nieces. See at the altar full of your nieces' envelopes. It's a year of weddings. It's a year of increase. Multiplication of homes here. And I prophesy that we will rejoice with you. We shall rejoice with you. Those physical and those that have done it virtually, we shall rejoice with you in the name of Jesus. Now, please, those that have dropped this year, I want you to start preparing. But please, when the Lord sends your husband, don't say he doesn't have big chest. Your husband might be shorter than me. You marry him like that. He might be too tall. You take him like that. Don't use your hand to push him away because he's, he hasn't come with the, in, the, in, the, in a shape or manner that you want or you desire. You've dropped your wedding invitation. The Lord will not give you the man. Single ladies, now now no. <laughs> Father, we thank you. And lastly, this 2022, the Lord said it's a year of unprecedented growth, unexpected growth, unexpected increase, unexpected multiplication in John Endoma Ministries and the body of Christ globally. The Lord said those that have genuinely served him genuinely labored this is the year of the unexpected unexpected growth um, unprecedented growth all you pastors this goes to pastors and ministers that have served and waited and trusted god for so long trusting god all of you online watching trusting that have trusted god you've waited on god this year you've for years and it looked like your ministry, no one is paid attention. The Lord said, now, you've caught his attention and there shall be increase, supernatural increase. He said, the Gentiles will come to your light. He said, the church will even come to your light. The unprecedented growth, unprecedented growth. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. A time is coming, one, one, one pound 99p chicken will be for 10 pounds. There is a great famine coming. This famine will last about seven years. And this is what we're all in the world, new world order as well. It's all, it is all strategic. You will either get the mark or you suffer hunger. That is why the church must become prosperous so that we are self-sufficient. We will have... To see the full prophecy of this video, subscribe to Apostolic TV on YouTube. Follow Apostolic on Facebook, subscribe to our Facebook family, or visit www.com.